If I could talk to animals that are being confined and, and abused now in factory farms, I would say I'm sorry for what we're doing to you. Um, I wish it wasn't this way, and I, I'm doing everything I know to stop it, and um, hopefully we will be able to stop it. There's not really a whole lot of good you can say. I mean, you just gotta, um, just gotta hope that it can stop, and hope that people will recognize the harm we're causing and will choose a different way. Meat, milk, and eggs come from real animals. They don't just come from the grocery store. And these animals desire to live and they want to be free of pain and suffering and fear. And on today's farms, these animals only know fear and pain at human hands. They never know human kindness. They never know mercy. And when people buy these products, they are unwittingly supporting that type of cruelty and that type of callousness. The workers, they have to lose part of their heart. You know, they have to lose, they have to shut their eyes to certain aspects of what they're doing. Can you imagine what it would be like to cut the throats of animals for eight hours a day. It's a bloody, violent job, and nobody should have to do it. I don't know what it means that, you know, we can participate in such cruelty without paying attention to it, without caring about it, without wanting to do different. <laughs> Citizens want to assume that animals will be treated humanely, that there are laws on the books to prevent cruelty. Uh, and people are usually surprised to learn there aren't. If people looked at what was happening, they'd be appalled. Most people would not support the type of abuse that has become common on factory farms. Look at her wrinkled nose. <laughs> Plus the wrinkled nose in the world. You're very brave. Are you gonna poop? Can you pull out the grace? <laughs> 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 